Playing for a new manager can make some teams nervous and the Army's first half performance was evidence of that. Mara De Luca forced Kenny Clark into an early save as the ladies in red struggled to settle into the game. Clark stood no chance soon after though. Sue Q Manning, who plays for Queen's Park Rangers, tried her luck from a similar distance and found the net with a stunning strike. New Army boss Sergeant Lee Barry said his team offered Middlesex too much respect in a poor first half performance and the forces side found themselves 2-0 down at the break. A mix up at the back allowed Chloe Sampson to shoot rather tamely at goal with the ball trickling through the Army goalkeeper. It could have been even worse for the Lionesses at half time. Alessandra Bereca lashed over after Clark failed to get anywhere near a corner. There was even a goal line clearance to make sure it was just two at the interval. Samson nipped ahead of Clark and laid it on a plate for captain Kasha Petit. But Louisa Anderson stretched out a timely leg to block the shot. The second half needed something different for the army. Rachel Rigby certainly provided that, latching on to a poor throw, showing a terrific turn of pace and a finish cool as you like. Sergeant Barry called Rigby's strike the turning point of the match but the two-goal lead was nearly restored just minutes later. De Luca's great pass released Kaylee Curavan, but Clark did well to tip the shot onto the post. Up the other end, the Army were wasting chances as the rain started to fall at Rectory Park. Tara Geiler should have done better from six yards out, while Libby Dixon's stylish flick and shot was tipped wide by a tremendous save. The equaliser had been coming though and the army deserved to be level. Anderson up from the back, taking advantage of chaos in the Middlesex penalty area to nod home for 2-2. Yeah! A draw seemed a fair result, but Middlesex may feel aggrieved to have had a winning goal chalked off. Clark dropped a simple cross and collided with the Middlesex number 11. The winger put the ball in the net, but the referee, perhaps harshly, ruled it out for a foul on the goalkeeper. Clark had to go off with the injury, meaning an outfield player, Tara Parker, saw out the game in goal. She did enough to keep Middlesex out just about, which means neither a win or a loss for Lee Barry's first game in charge. We've worked on playing out from the back um, this week, we've only had the girls for two days and I don't think we did in the first half, I think it was a little bit hot potato where we were just, it looked like a phase of play more than actually playing football, we won the ball back, we've given it them. Um, at half time I just said listen I have the belief to go and play football, they won the ball back and instead of kicking it uh, over the halfway line we actually started playing football with a little bit more belief that we could go to play football. And once we got the first goal, I think we were the only team that looked like we were going to win the game. The Army women will play more civilian teams before the end of the year, when attention turns to the 2020 Inter-Services Championships. Kyle Dixon, Forces News, Northolt.